Hi, I'm Neil Hanks with Allen Tate Beverly Hanks Realtors and welcome to our first market report of 2023. are waking up, spring energy is in the air as the Blue Ridge comes to life after the winter season. The local and national real estate market is also turning a new leaf and entering a phase of renewal and fresh opportunity after a considerable period of cooling in the latter half of 2022 and early 2023. Our first quarter market report has some noteworthy silver linings and positive trends here in Western North Carolina and beyond. But first, let's examine where we've been in this complex landscape of marketplace influences. Late summer's rapid rise in interest rates put a damper on short-term demand for real estate, and the region's limited supply of inventory, which has been a persistent factor in our area, made it difficult for buyers to find and purchase properties that met their needs. This created a significant decline in closed sales as is demonstrated in the data as we close out the first quarter of the year. Let's take a look at the numbers. Regionally, home sales were down by 27% when compared to the first quarter of 2022. While demand was less than what Western North Carolina experienced during the outlying pandemic years, it continued to outpace supply and contribute to home price appreciation. Specifically, that looks like a hike in median sales prices here in the region, climbing from $370,000 to $399,000. And now for the silver linings. A look at the current market influences shows very positive trend lines as we enter the spring. Buyers are coming back and with good reason. In March, mortgage rates ended the month over 30 basis points lower than where they started, opening the door for buyers to revisit their real estate plan. The Deputy Chief Economist of the Mortgage Bankers Association, Joel Can, offers perspective on the national real estate market when he stated this, application activity has increased as mortgage rates decline for the third straight week. Home price growth has slowed markedly in many parts of the country, which has helped to improve buyer's purchasing power. And total home sales saw their largest monthly percentage increase since July of 2020. There's also positive news on the national housing supply front. Following five consecutive months of declines, single family construction starts in February rose nearly 10%, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. It was also reported that applications for building permits increased by 13.8% month over month, indicating a turning point in opportunity for consumers. The latest Builder Outlook data reflects optimism as well. It was the third month over month increase following 12 consecutive months of decline. And while new home construction starts will not necessarily fill the inventory gap, these are indeed very positive signs. While challenges to our economy and the real estate market persist, we remain optimistic about the trends across the market and the underlying fundamentals behind them. Allen Tate Beverly Hank sales activity in March was healthy and on par with normal years. A foundational point of our local market stability is the exceptional quality of life here in the Blue Ridge. It's a boon to those of us who live here and inspiring to those who visit and the region continues to resonate on the national radar. Both U.S. News and World Report and Southern Living magazines placed Asheville at the top of their recent cultural and retirement destination rankings. From our 45 years of homegrown experience, all signs point to continued opportunity here in our North Carolina mountain home. For a deeper dive, more data and sector-by-sector -sector real estate analysis, visit the link below to review our first quarter market report. If you're considering a move or investment, it would be our honor to guide you along the way. I'm Neil Hanks, and thank you for coming along for our 2023 first quarter market report.